Greetings, it's Nawasha. And Masha, we do. Welcome back to the Accommodate Everyday YouTube page. The art and science of black love culture. <laughs> I was going to say, where we give the art and science of black love culture. Today we're talking about... Communication. Always um, the, the uh, conversation on the table. Communication is such an important thing in all our relationships. It's the basis of how we get down with everything, how we resolve conflict, how we um, engage people, each other, how we bond, how we do anything, um, even pick the right meal for the night it has to deal with communication. So, And that's actually what we're talking about today right. is how to get out of difficult conversations or why you are stuck in them. So if you're finding yourself in a difficult conversation with anyone that you care about or have to work with, keep listening. So, yes. So what we find is that, you know, what are difficult conversations? Difficult conversations are conversations that need to be had, but usually have some fear, have some um, perceived pain or actual pain or doubt or reservation around them, either because it's something that we need to say that we feel may be um, impactful in a negative way, or it's something that we know the person won't like, or we doubt they'll agree to, or it reveals something deeper in us that um, probably before we didn't want a person to know. Mm -hmm. These are just some examples. There's many other examples of what a difficult conversation is, but we always like to be clear what we're talking about here. <laughs> so if you're fighting, if you're yelling, if you're having a hard time right now in a conversation, there are three things that can really help you get some leverage over um, not being able to communicate in a good way. So like what Mancho was saying about just labeling the conversation difficult might make you not even want to have the conversation, right. right? So you might be avoiding a whole area of your life that is very important. And you might actually be able to come to a new understanding with the person that you love. So the very first reason that people are having difficult conversations are, um, or I should say is, because we don't have purpose in our conversation. We don't know the purpose behind why the person thinks what they think, why they're saying what they're saying, why we think what we think, and why we're saying what we're saying. So one of the fundamental things about um, black culture, original culture, indigenous culture, is that everything has purpose. So you have a purpose as a human being, uh, you have a purpose in a family, even inanimate objects have purpose. So when someone comes to you with whatever may seem trivial, insignificant, not important, silly, there really is purpose behind it. And there are actually only seven reasons why we engage with people in conversation, which match our seven human needs. And so that brings us to the second point. If you suck at communication mm -hmm. or you're dreading really having a difficult conversations, usually one of the, the um, challenges for you internally, whether you could articulate it or not, is that, yo, you just don't really understand how to satisfy either the need of yourself, which is horrible, um, or the need of the person that you're talking to. So when we're communicating, we're usually striving to influence a person to do something or to understand something or to resonate with a feeling that we have, right? And so we need to be cognizant of like, anytime we're talking, it really comes down to these seven needs that everyone has. One, two, three, some combination of them, but at least one of the needs is present when a person is talking to you and or when you're talking to someone else. A quick run through of the needs, the seven needs is as follows. So number one is the need for certainty. This is the need for comfort. This is the need for um, assurance. This is the need for security in communication. The second need is for a little bit of uncertainty. So this is what we call variety, which is the need for surprise, adventure, something that you are not so certain about. Right. Need three is a big one for a lot of men. Um, it's the need for significance. We, we um, express it as respect or um, importance or things of that nature 
but it's all of those words are synonymous with being significant to people, places, and things, or especially in a conversation. And then the next le- the next need is for <laughs> connection. So the idea of just being communal, being in community, having partnership, just really being able to bond, which is a major reason why people are talking, which is understanding and connection. That idea that you can be um, connected to each other, to the world, to yourself, to animals, plants, to air. <laughs> but just this idea of connection is a, a driving need for human beings. Right. And then we have the next need is love. And that is that perpetual consciousness, that holistic consciousness, that emotional affinity to connect and have reciprocation in a very intimate way. And the next need is for growth. So one reason why you might be communicating is because you want to have more. So this is just the idea of knowing more, being more, experiencing more, and expansion. Right. And then finally, we have contribution. That is the deep need to give to people, places, and things and enrich them through your understanding, your your wisdom, your knowledge, your experience. And so you really want to um, contribute when you when you when you say any words Mm -hmm. and the last reason so the three reasons that we gave that you uh, might be having difficult conversations right now is because you don't know the purpose you don't know the needs that we just said and then this last reason the third reason is that you don't have a ritual around having conversation so before we get into that i just want to say that if you are interested in learning more about this you can take a look in the comments for or in the look in the description for a link to our masterclass, which is coming up soon, um, where you're going to learn the seven human needs. You're going to learn how to use them. You're going to learn about purpose and several other things right. in our six week masterclass. Right. But you can also just take a look, um, no cost, just take a look and see how to find purpose. So just by registering, you'll get that free understanding of purpose in conversation. But getting back to the third reason, um, you really need to have a ritual around how you approach conversations and not just the difficult ones, but especially the difficult ones. And a ritual is just a specific way that we do a thing for all the people like me who love basketball or any sport. You know, um, sports, um, all the sports greats have specific rituals to prepare for the game. But even in the game, if you're at the foul line, whatever, ritual is a specific um, sequence of physical movements that, um, from a cultural standpoint, it interacts with nature, sensory perceptions, and the elemental forces of the universe to really um, centralize your thoughts and your feelings, your intentions, without really even using words all the time. But um, I think rituals, when you master rituals in communication, especially intimate communications, you transform on a much deeper level than just uh, a simple aha moment. So if you're dreading difficult conversations, rituals can become your best friend. Yes. So um, we're going to do a video about rituals yes. in a couple of videos from this one. Right. So keep watching and you'll be able to see um, some examples of rituals to use. And of course, let us know in the comments if you have had a difficult question or I'm sorry. (laughs) Please let us know in the comments if you've had a difficult conversation in the last couple of days and who that was with, whether it was a partner, husband, wife, child, parent. We want to know, how did you heal your difficult conversation? Or are you still walking on eggshells and avoiding? And if you need deeper help, please reach out to us. Get a free consultation. It's Monsha and Awasha Edu. The Acoma House Initiative, culturally based counseling and consulting, giving you the art and science of black love culture. Get with us. Check out this master class. It's unlike anything out there. Um, you really need to master how to have difficult conversations and when. <laughs> so, as always, until the next time, we greet you in peace and we say, Niacoma.